Good evening, and um, and uh, this evening, uh, I I would like to to show you uh, another field about we are working at this moment is more or less uh, some research field. Uh, we try to develop uh, some platform about some different topic uh, uh, concerning uh, my work. And uh, one of them is uh, to create some exchange between different projects. And uh, usually, uh, an architect uh, present project and project, another project, like that, like a series. In this case, but at the end, I, I present to you a project, okay, but it's like a, a conclusion. But with this presentation, the idea is a little bit different because the idea is not to present one project. The idea is to present a strategy and an echo between different projects we develop in Paris and in Italy, in Naples, in Napoli. And all, present, all images are real, real, and also it's more or less a fiction. We are going between this idea to create a fiction with some very concrete, very, uh, very uh, 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 real project. It's more or less like a collage between different approaches and attitudes. And I'm starting about this idea uh, to, uh, concerning the mutation from the city to the metropolis. In France, but also in, in Italy, a few months ago, the, 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 the chamber of the deputy in Italy, vote a new law to transform 10 cities in Italy becomes metropoles. And Naples is involved in this process. And uh, I would like to, to, not to compare, but to, to go between Grand Paris, it's a, a transformation, it's a mutation of Paris in a metropole, and uh, Naples, Grand Naples, is also this same way or process. And the first image is very clear, is a collage between uh, the Villa Malaparte and the view of Paris. Because th this view of Paris is uh, the real Paris. It's not only the two Eiffel Tower, it's uh, or Champs-Élysées. This part is only for 2.5 million people, inhabitants, around the historical Paris, like uh, in the postcard, you have nine million inhabitants living, working. And finally, the global size of the, this metropole is 12 million inhabitants. It's totally another world. And uh, we are working about three or four uh, chapitres. The first one is history. It's uh, between the history between these two global cities. And it's not a historical approach. It's, a, it's more or less like a joke. We, we, we are playing with the history. First, but all information is absolutely correct. You have this medal between France and Italy with this, uh, this locomotive. And you could see this locomotive there. It is the first railway tracks in Naples with the French locomotive there. One relationship. Another one step by step between the French and Italian society between Naples, Naples creating this kind of exchange. Also, Naples developed some station 
like Paris, is very closed. And also, you have some artists, some painters, like uh, Giuseppe De Nittis, painting the train close to Naples. But also the same guy is painting the Place du Carousel in Paris. You have some exchange, a little bit interesting about that. And step by step, the feeling between the city of Paris and uh, the urban life, the, the, the fashion design, the, the architecture, and so, is more or less very close at the end of this uh, 19th century, at the beginning of the 20th century. And we make, uh, again, another collage between a window of uh, Osman building in Paris with a view on the Vesuvio, and you have another collage with a window in Naples with a view on Paris. It's a dialogue between these two global cities. About the geography also, step by step, you have some resonance between these two territories. With the futurism, introduce the progress in the, in the culture, but in the society. And they develop a real infrastructure creating a new structure for the city and especially now for the metropolis because the metropolis development, uh, this infrastructure is the bedrock about the metropolis development with some dreams, utopic dream, because the metropolis is also a utopy. And, uh, some image from 68 with uh, this kind of uh, graphism and design. The, the, the network of the public transportation is totally uh, out of scale, but the, this kind of magazine issue would like to show the importance, the presence of this new uh, vision about the territory for the modern city. And step by step, the city grow with some new city around. It is a par Paris, you have one new city, another one, another one, one, five around. And the power in France develop this kind of very strong structure, new st urban structure. But after, we make, we made, sorry, uh, a, very, uh, a very stupid historical mistake because we don't creating, we didn't create a, a, a circle with a new public transportation between these different cities. And now we are exactly about this question, but with 20, maybe 30 years later. And with the idea about this new Grand Paris is to develop this new public transportation. And step by step, you will see, we are coming back to Naples also. And the Grand Paris is not only a new territory, is a new power, step by step, and also some different rules, and also a, an, a workshop with the Atelier du Grand Paris. And this workshop try to develop some idea concerning the, de the urban development of this uh, new territory. It is a map of the metro with a new one. And this one is in Naples. And uh, we have exactly the same 
structure, the same network. And also, we could pick up some project in the Grand Paris, but also we could see and show some project in Napoli, with especially with the new metro and the subway, the new metro station in Naples. In Paris, also, you have a relationship with, for example, with Versailles. And if you compare the, the distance between Versailles and Paris and the center of the city, you have more or less 30 minutes. You could compare also the distance between Naples, Naples and Caserta. And finally, it's more or less the same typology. And we made also another collage with the Garden of Versailles and the castle of Caserta. And step by step, this idea about the metropole appear in Europe, not only for the big city, for all city. And you have uh, some transformation about the territory with the expansion, with a, a new area for 3.5 million inhabitants in Naples, step by step, and also the presence of the geography is very strong in Naples because you have the, the sea, you have volcanoes, you have the historical city, and finally, the city of Naples got only one way about the new development, in connection, like all metropoles, with the boat, with the, the plane, with the train, and this kind of new network connecting metropolis between other metropolis. Behind that, you have a political power. It's very important to support politically this kind of development because this development is obviously about the urban strategy, the urban design, but also about social, economical, and finally creating a new society, a new contemporary society. The development of Naples is, I said, only in one way, on the east. And you have the, the historical center, but on the east is totally open, and you have this kind of situation with a lot of empty space, a lot of opportunities to develop the city. But this kind of uh, fabric very, um, very free, with a lot of empty space, got its root from the, the center, from this railway there, the, from the Piazza Garibaldi and the railway station. And this development is more or less an urban design proposal. And this urban design proposal, fine, is a starting point from the railway station. And this railway station, or more exactly, you have several railway stations. It's, sorry, you have one is the main railway station there. You have another one there. You have another one on the underground, the, the, the piazza there, and, and also other station. And finally, it's a real chance for the city of Naples to have this very open public space. It's not so easy. For example, in Paris, we would like to connect the Gare du Nord with the Gare de l'Est two very important railway stations, but 
is totally impossible to connect very organically, if you want, these two networks. In this case, you have a unique and very open and generous public space working with different stations. In the earth of this, uh, we could introduce a new metro station at this place. And also, we could develop from this new metro station uh, another layer just underground to increase the exchange between different parts of the city. And also, we try to organize a new um, uh, avenue along the railway station to create this link between the, the, between the Piazza Garibaldi and this huge territory on the east. And this kind of proposal is just to explain how we could transform the network, existing network, existing condition in a new situation to develop some exchange, exchange between, diff between different districts. And uh, in this case, the public transportation is obviously the support, but also the idea is to connect, to connect this new center of Naples in the future with all facilities. The question also about the density we propose at the, the city and the region to test different density. It's not exactly uh, architectural design. It's just a, a principle, a scenario to organize this, the relationship between the public space and the private development. Today, finally, we have some dialogue between two projects between Naples and Paris. The idea is obviously a question about the solidarity, this kind of development, and the new metro transportation. And we got two projects, one in Naples for the Piazza Garibaldi, for the new station, very deep station, and uh, another one in Paris for Villejuif is a, a new station also uh, with a, the depth is uh, very important. I'm going step by step by this uh, important and, uh, and very effi efficient strategy to create some metro station in relationship with the, the district and with the urban fabric. It is a situation, it was the situation of the Piazza Garibaldi. And you see the, the location of the, of the new railway station because at the, during the 19th century, the railway station was built in the center of this square. And uh, this building was destroyed and appeared a huge public space. And the deal, the challenge, is to transform this public space in a real center for the new development of the city. More or less the same situation in Paris, in comparison, you, we are in Villejuif. You see the highway from the, coming from the south, and also this building existing, like a cathedral, is a huge building, is a hospital, is a very famous hospital about the research on the concert. And the idea is to develop around this uh, big building a campus about research and pharma uh, concerning the medicine. 
but not only, also some new housing and also to use and protect the topography because we are on the top of a hill at this place close to Paris. And in the Piazza Garibaldi also, the project is to introduce the presence of the metro station, not like just an entrance, but like a new landscape. And also, the, we would like to reduce the, the, the deep, the depth, sorry, of the uh, metro station with this open galleria uh, in, 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 in the ground floor. Same question in Villejuif. We see, you see, sorry, the existing building is there, the hospital, but all design around is new, will be new. In the center of this uh, district, with a very important park, green park at this place, the location of the new metro station. And this new metro station is, um, is more or less like the new node of this, uh, of this district. And um, the idea is to use this important project with a lot of money, a lot of engineering, to change the quality of the relationship between the people and the transportation, but also between the district and the public space. In this case, the idea is to create different level for the public space. You have this one is the level of the piazza, and you have another one. This one is totally open with this uh, metal trees with some mesh uh, tissue creating like an umbrella, creating shadow. And along this um, new street, a little bit underground, maybe more or less eight meters below the level of the, of the piazza, we could introduce another kind of facilities, some shops, different entrances for new station, different facilities, public facilities, and we introduce another kind of intensity and density, but without a new building. And it is under construction with the protection, because the main idea is to introduce the daylight and the fresh air, the natural air, at the bottom of the railway station. The same strategy in Paris, in Villejuif, with this kind of canopy protecting the bus station on the right and creating another scale with a market on the left. And the, the main idea around this kind of project is to merge different levels like a new topography for the, the ground floor of the city. The idea at the end is to create some routes for the city with some temporary uh, function. And it is this, uh, exactly the idea. You have different deck, double deck. And the city is not finished when you are walking along Piazza Avenue. It's more complex under your feet. You have a network. You have a real treasure about the quality of the light and the life, sorry, and the quality about the development of uh, the, the the density and the 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 function and uh, and the program of the city. You could see some image is uh, in progress. The, the station is working in, in Napoli, and uh, the station in, uh, in, uh, in Villejuif is uh, the sketches. So we go 
in, Nap in Garibaldi, in Viljuif, and uh, with uh, this kind of development concerning the, the design of the architecture with uh, this kind of material, with uh, some, met uh, some panel in, um, in metal with a finishing, uh, polishing like a mirror. And we conduct, we drive the, the daylight from the top to the bottom. And for the quality of the, this kind of space underground is totally new. And behind this uh, kind of uh, volumes and uh, development of uh, the metro station, the, another idea appears about uh, the sharing spaces. Because the top, the epidermis of this kind of uh, huge hole and, uh, and very depth is uh, to develop some new facilities, new services for a district. Because the idea is to, to increase this kind of function and to create for the superstructure some new opportunities for housing. And because the main idea is we don't want to live underground, but we want to use the underground situation. And with this kind of uh, spaces, with a, a diameter, 30 or 40 meters, we have an, another relationship, very physical, between your station and the space of the station itself. In, in Naples, again, in Villejuif, after, again, with Pistoletto, the presence of the, the heart in the metro station with the fantastic work of Pistoletto in Napoli, creating some huge painting on mirror uh, about the topic of the traveling. You don't know where is the reality and where is the fiction. And uh, this layer is a feature for the metropolis with uh, this kind of section. You see, is a very exciting situation for the architect because the, the, the geometry of the, uh, and the power, the powerful of the infrastructure is a real component and, and, um, and field about the architectonical uh, situation and, uh, and control. The view of the section in Villejuif and, uh, is very exciting because this cylinder, the diameter is 70 meters and uh, the wall the thick, uh, thickness of the wall is only one meter in concrete. And inside, you have this project. It's uh, some, some solution about another part of the Piazza Garibaldi. The idea is to develop a dialogue and um, a dialectic, I think is a better word, between the artificial trees there, like this canopy, and uh, natural trees on this side. And between these axes, uh, we would like to introduce this different canopy, this one natural, and this one like a, a structure uh, in metal and in, in fabric. About that, um, this uh, kind of uh, go between these two situations and two projects we, develop, we are developing in parallel way. We are also proposal, make some proposal uh, to the city of Naples to organize some place about the debate because it's absolutely necessary to exchange with different people and especially with the people living and working in this new kind of district and territories. And the idea is to organize some event in Naples to present 
this kind of vision and organize some debate. Also, we should create, for example, like in Paris, the Pavillon de l'Arsenal, some place for, to present, to, to make some exhibition uh, about the project of the city and the project of the, the architecture uh, developing the, the skyline of the city. And we would like to build a, a small pavilion on the Piazza Garibaldi to introduce a place for the debate about different projects uh, between different metropolis and especially between Paris and Naples. And finally, the main idea is to, to, to say that we are in front of us a very unknown situation. The, the passage and the mutation between the city, historic old city, to the metropolis is a real question, a real field of research concerning the development of the humanity. Because we know all part of the planet, we know all part of the surface of the planet. It's impossible today to discover something on the planet. We know all. And for the humanity, it's totally another relationship about the future. Uh, we, the psychology of the humanity change because the relationship about the discovery disappear, in fact. And the new territory about the discovery is underground. And we develop another field of research about this situation. How is possible to share the underground situation like a roots, like a network under the building? It's not necessary to build a building to be an architect. It's not necessary. It's possible to build some special spaces, place, program, in some new situation. I teach in the Lausanne, in the EPFL. And it's very exciting to develop, especially for the second year, young architect starting. And it's very interesting for them to, to try to, to develop some experimentation about the underground feeling and attitude. Why? Because it's impossible to use the underground situation if you don't have some light and some space. And light is, and space is the main component about architecture. If you got some light, if you got some space, you are creating a place to live. And, and, and it's very, very exciting because it's totally new about the feeling. Because the relationship about this kind of architecture is working with really with this notion about the context. Because when you are working about underground, the situation is totally, should be, totally different between this corner and this other corner. Because the quality of the soil is different. The relationship between, I don't know, a special network underground existing there, not there. And finally, you should work with a, a very strong precision about the relationship between the existing condition and your project. And, and I like it because the presence of the context is not only cultural, it's very physical. And the architecture 
is physical, is not only cultural. And the relationship between this kind of situation is absolutely perfect to feel something, to think something, and to create some very special emotion. And um, about, it's another lecture about the groundscape, but we try to invent a new word, like a landscape, but groundscape, and to explain with this, more or less this kind of fiction, Naples is not a small city. Naples is not a city in Provence. Naples have the same specificity like Paris, for example, about the status of metropole. And it's new in Europe, it's new for European guy and people. Finally, this kind of substance appear not with a lot of inhabitants. The population is not the, the unique criteria to say it's a metropole. We, are, we have some other step-by-step -step criteria and we work about that to evaluate and to identify the, this kind, this list, if you want, uh, this uh, checklist of the criteria to, 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 to qualify the, the, this substance like a metropolitan substance. And I would like to finish with affinities because we are in a very exciting and cr crazy building of uh, Joe Ponti. And I would like to show you uh, a project we are working in Paris at this moment. It is the place, the location of this project in Paris. You are there. It's close to Champs Elysees, close to Arc de Triomphe. The building is, the, is this one. Is a, is this building built during the 70s. And I would like to, to make a reference. We don't use this reference when we design this building, but for this lecture, I could make this kind of relationship again between Naples and Paris, and this, in this place between Jena and uh, this building in uh, Milano, Monte Doria. It's more or less the same situation, the center, and we are there. And also, the, the material and the strategy is not exactly the same, but is more or less in the, in the, in the project about where we are working, is more or less a homage, uh, in fact, uh, to about uh, uh, jo Joe Ponti uh, uh, work. In this case, we merge some different material, some marbles, green marbles, in, in reference also about miss and some metal mesh, some tissue in metal fabric in a golden color. It is a, the location of the building uh, close to the Arc de Triomphe and we uh, got the permission to build this building and we expect to, complete, uh, to build uh, and completely finish to build uh, in three years maybe. And uh, I would like to finish with a, a very short uh, video about this project. Uh, this video is uh, uh, the, document, uh, the documentation to present to the mayor of Paris to explain how this building is integrated in this situation. I don't know if it's, if it's work, but maybe... Ah, yes. Okay, thank you. Sorry, the, the music is awful. It is the, the district. <coughs> it is the building, the new building. This building is an office building. And we are working with a movie maker to, to create exactly uh, the, the real condition uh, about the district. And uh, 
and after we introduce this uh, this project, we keep the structure of the facade from 70. And we've wrapped the, the facade with uh, some, uh, some small pieces in uh, green marble. And we, we are working because of the, the orientation about these two facades are very interesting because it's on the east and on the west and with some perpendicular uh, uh, metal fabrics like that we could create a good atmosphere about the, the movement of the of the sun but another feeling i think it's more interesting is is to expand to increase your office outside because with this kind of two parallel uh, uh, material and vertically you feel your exterior part of the of your, of your office more or less like a back balcony or like a loggia it's that is the idea and also the another idea is to to develop a special presence existing with a, a density sometimes uh, about uh, the opacity of the, the perception, the vision, and sometimes is totally open. And this kind of kinetic uh, work con uh, about the skin is very efficient and is relationship with uh, the design of the historical stone uh, building uh, around. Thank you very much.